now. I'm just a girl who's enthusiastic about making the positivity. When I say positivity, I mean bringing people up, not pushing people down. Being mean is not cool. Awesome people are not mean. So be kind all the time. So hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. Mine is going like I always say. For this video today, I thought I would update you on how I like the Il Maquillage Foundation since I've been using it for about two weeks now. And I also figured I actually wanted to go over some of the products that I actually use on my face because I don't do my face makeup on camera just because it's kind of hard like I wouldn't call myself like a foundation contour blush bronzer like not that I'm expert on anything but I'm definitely not expert on that so like I think I probably like apply it like a dork so I don't do it on camera it's just much easier for me not to do it on camera with doing it with one hand and stuff because you know I'm not cool so I like hold a mirror I don't have like a big setup here you know this is like a corner of my bedroom so yeah so anyway um I am loving the Il Maquillage Foundation. I will pull. And this is this one right here. It's called Woke Up Like This Fall is Space Foundation. And the shade they match me with is 035, which is like a really light, cool toned color because I'm pale as a ghost and I have very strong pink undertones. So it looks like this. Of course, it looks like really dark on my hand, but it actually, um, I sprayed, I put way too much on my hand. What a waste. Um, it goes on and matches my skin tone absolutely beautifully. What I like about, um, I gotta get that off. What I like about Il Maquillage is that they have this two week, you can try it. And if it's not right, you can either send it back or like, I think they might even rematch it for you. Um, and you won't get charged if you send it back. Like they'll charge you the initial, I think it was like $5 to ship it. But if you send it back, they won't charge you the 40, I think it's 45, about 45 um after the because after the two weeks if you decide to keep it they'll charge you the full amount but if you decide to send it back you won't get charged that amount you'll just paid five dollars and you got to try the foundation and i think it's a really good deal i heard about this foundation from debbie knoblock and anya stamper they were talking about it and like i said in the past video i have i like some of the foundations that i have but i haven't found one that i was like seriously crazy about i don't know like either they're like too light or they're too heavy or there i don't know this one is actually really good of course it is on the pricier side because why are things always like that you love more expensive but they are but what i really like about this is that for me it's like medium to light obviously light to medium coverage with a buildable coverage and and i like that it i can build it up it doesn't go on right away like like cakey um it's actually pretty light it's pretty lightweight i don't feel it on my face it lasts all day, which I really, really like. Um, I went out over the weekend. Last weekend, I had to go to the grocery store in New York. We have to wear masks when we go out. And it was really hot that day. And my makeup didn't move. And I had a mask on and I was like sweating. And when I took the mask off, my foundation was perfectly fine. The only thing that was kind of messed up was my lipstick because it was on the mask. But I was really impressed. So I really, really like it. I'm going to read a little bit about it for you. So it comes in 50 shades. It's 50 shades for all skin tones, a lightweight texture, buildable to medium to high coverage, natural matte finish, opti optically corrective powders enriched with vitamin E for anti-aging benefits, hyaluronic acid for hydration, protection, and filling wrinkles, 100% cruelty free. And then it says for long wear, pair it with a primer or setting spray, which I did, but whatever. But these are, this is the shade range right here which is pretty pretty good it has you know for all different undertones and skin tones so it's pretty good um oh no actually you can scroll down more hold on and then here's all the other darker skin tones i was like kind of looking at it it didn't look like 50 i mean but like i said i really like it it is not heavy for me um i like the way it goes on with like a beauty blender I don't actually have a beauty blender, but leave the one that I used today, sorry it's dirty because I did just use it, is a Juno one. I think it goes on beautifully with a beauty sponge. I was using my Blendiful, which I do enjoy, sorry it's also dirty, um, but I feel that I actually like foundation in general better applied with the like beauty blender type sponge versus the Blendiful. But I love the Blendiful for setting my powders under my eyes and like, you know, like around my face and the eyebrows and for applying bronzer because I feel like you can really brush it in nicely. So I definitely still love the Beauty Blender, but I'm definitely, I've gone back to putting on foundation with the puff because I just, I feel it goes on better, especially the Il Maquillage when I think it just goes on really flawlessly and beautifully. I think it's, it's just a really stunning foundation. 
I've been on like a stunning kick if you notice I've said stunning like in a lot of my videos like repeatedly apparently that's like my new favorite word but I really really like it I'm really glad that I purchased it I hate that it's like $45 but it is what it is I have other foundations that I'm going to use in between um so I won't use it up right away one thing I do have to say is like I don't consider myself like a skin foundation expert you know I'm just like a makeup enthusiast and so out of using you know I'm in my mid-30s so I've been using foundations for years so I kind of know what works for me and what doesn't um I have just to give you an idea I have uh normal to maybe sometimes oily skin maybe usually just oily around my t-zone it's pretty normal I have some you know like fine lines starting to develop because I am in my mid-30s um the only time my face really gets dry is when I have a cold or my allergies are bothering me and I'm blowing my nose a lot and then it gets dry around here but I don't really have dry skin so I don't really have super like issues with skin so most foundations aren't terrible for me I, mean, I definitely had some but I'm like this is horrible this oxidize in like two seconds or whatever but you know um so I can't like speak to like if you have dry skin or if you have oily skin or if you have very combo skin I just have normal skin so for my experience with my normal to sometimes a little bit oily skin the Il Maquillage foundation with the elf primer worked beautifully so I figured also because like I said earlier in the video I do most of I do all of my face makeup off camera so I figured I don't know why I list a lot of things below I figured I would also just kind of show you what I use daily like this is the stuff that I use on my face all the time that I love because with uh, foundations and lipstick I mean not foundation excuse me with eyeshadows and lipsticks I change them up all the time but with usually with my blushes and foundation stuff it's usually like the same you or even actually just the same one over and over till I finish it so the first thing I do for my makeup routine is obviously I moisturize my skin and right now my favorites for moisturizing my skin are from fourth ray beauty and it's their face milks currently I'm using the strawberry and the green tea I really like them I also would use the turmeric and finished it and I loved it but I still have the colors and I find them actually just really great for my skin. They make my skin feel great before I put makeup on. They smell nice. They, they're just nice for, they work really nice for my skin. I won't lie, the what makes me put one on over the other each day is I decide which one goes with my outfit better. Like, I used the matcha today because I'm wearing more of like a greenishy army, like brownishy shirt and I have like green pants on. So... Yeah, but if I was wearing more of like a peachy pink outfit, I would grab the strawberry one because I'm such a dork. Does anyone else do that kind of stuff? Like, it's not even just like with, um, I won't even lie. It's not even just with like things like that. Like, I'll try and match my perfume to like what I'm wearing. Like, um, like if the bottle like will more like closely resembles when like the colors that I'm wearing or if I think the scent matches more, I'm like such a weird. I was told that was really weird, but whatever. My mom does the same thing, so it's hereditary. But anyway, it's a little quirk to share with people. If anyone else does that, please comment below so that I know that I am not the only weirdo who, like, has to match stuff. So anyway, after putting my, um, this, oh my god, this video is all over the place. Whenever I do videos where I'm just talking, they're so embarrassing. They're <laughs> so awful because I, like, I'm not great at speaking. Like, I'm just not. So after I put my, um that stuff on the face milk i usually go and i do my face makeup but then after for primer what i have been using for the past couple of months which i absolutely love is the elf putty primer i'm almost completely out of it i have a backup and i actually bought the matte one too i because i'd gotten a sample of the tatcha primer and i absolutely loved it but that is ridiculously expensive for how much i would go through it i don't know like it just to me it was a lot of money and then when people said that this was kind of a dupe for it for like eight bucks or ten bucks however much it is I had to pick it up and I absolutely love it I think it works great I've had it work with all the foundations that I've been using I've been using the Il Maquillage one my uh, BH Cosmetics and what's the other one that I use oh one from Pacifica and this works under all of them and I really like how it performs so this is a great product for me this is my this is now like my primer that I use all the time unless I get a sample of something else and I'll try it but I absolutely love this primer so for foundation obviously I said I wear the Il Maquillage or I'll switch up and I'll do um, a BH Cosmetics one or the Pacifica one and I do actually have one that I got from Shop Miss A that I have to try 
color wise it reminds me a lot of um il maquillage so when i wear that more i'll let you know how i i feel about it and if i think it's like worth the money because it's only like a dollar 55 or something so it'll be interesting for concealers again going back to elf i am really loving the 16 hour camo concealer i got it in color fair beige because again i'm pale as anything and plus it's a little bit lighter than uh, the foundation so it goes on uh nice and bright under my eyes to give them a little bit you know like a brighter look and then this one is actually a little bit too orange for me it's from flower beauty and it's light but this is a great one for spot concealing because it's not as like like as white as this one so i really enjoy this one as well these are something that i use every day um i also really enjoy uh the jeffree star concealer but this is cheaper and it works just as well so this is now my new favorite concealer For setting my makeup i love to use um like a loose powder on the blendiful to set like under my eyes wherever i put concealer and this dollar um one from shop miss a this aoa perfect setting powder has become an absolute favorite of mine it's gorgeous i have it in like the reddish tone this one is called brightening <clears throat> it's not reddish tone excuse me it's like a pinkishy tone it's so soft and so smooth and it looks like that and it just sets my powder, my powder, it just sets my foundation, I mean concealer, so nicely. And it lasts and my concealer doesn't crease or crack too much unless my eye is tearing. And then there's no escaping the mess of that if my eye starts tearing like crazy. It doesn't matter, <clears throat> excuse me, what makeup I'm wearing. Um, it will get messed up if my eyes like repeatedly tearing. And then when I want to set the rest of my face, I use... Um, Lately, I've been using this Essence Color Correcting Mattifying Powder. I'm actually almost done with it. I really, really enjoyed this. I believe this was like $5 or less. It's a great powder. I really like it. I also really love, I got this in the BoxyCharm, the Seattle London Everyday Vacay Powder. It's really nice. It smells like coconut. It is like $29, and so it's a lot, but I really like this. Like, I think it works really, really well. So this might be something that I might consider actually purchasing when I'm done with it because I actually really enjoy it and then another one that I really enjoy is from Pacifica and it's the cherry velvet matte translucent setting powder it works really nicely along the same lines as the Ciate London one the Ciate one London one's a little bit lighter and soft this one's a tiny bit heavier this one does have a very interesting cherry scent so if you do not like scents you probably wouldn't like this one but i do think overall it works really well and i believe it's only like 12 dollars, so it's not crazy expensive but those are the things that i usually use to set my face lately for blush what i've been using all the time is the j cat love struck blusher and bronzer it actually had like a little cat in the middle i'm actually almost done with it i tend with blushes to use the one that i've opened recently and just use it till it's done because i actually have a few different blushes that i've gotten through boxy charms and birch boxes or ones that i've just bought because i thought they were really fun occasionally i'll switch up and i'll go into my blush from my best of May cosmetics sleeping beauty palette and i'll put that one on but i've been trying to use this i want to try and finish the stuff that i have so i've been using this one a lot and i really really like it it's a nice pink it works i think nice for me and again it's under ten dollars and it's just it's a great value and it's a nice product and i really enjoy it for bronzer again this is something they don't make this one anymore but this is the best of May golden sand bronzer i absolutely love this bronzer see i'm actually pretty much done with it it's definitely for lighter skin tones like I see if i can even get some on my hand to show you um it's lighter but because i'm so pale it like works great and i'm so sad that this is almost is gone because it's not in stock anymore and they're not restocking it but it's such a beautiful like little palette like it's just really pretty and i really love it so what i have been doing now as a replacement for it is i got this from beauty bar baby this is the naked rose um bronzer this one has a little bit of a shimmer to it where that one didn't but i know it's like a little messed up but it was so pretty it was like a rosy pressed bronzer and i'll show you this one see and i really enjoy that as well and then highlighter i just tend to switch it up all the time i do use the dream glow kit from anastasia beverly hills a lot that's one of my favorite highlighters it's a chunkier glitter one so if you don't love like glitter um you probably won't love that highlighter but i love a good 
a good glitter. I love glitter, so, or sparkles and everything. And, like, you just, you can over sparkle, but can you really over sparkle? Let's be honest. So, yeah. Um, and then I use setting spray. Currently, I'm using this one that I got in a BoxyCharm. It is from In in beauty project i have no idea power up dual face setting mist this actually works pretty good the spray on it's a little weird i think i have to go in with like a toothpick and i'm thinking something's like stuck in there or something but it like sprays kind of like I don't know if you can, no see so you can't see it in the camera i don't know what the hell i was just doing but um it so i don't know but i think it actually works really really nicely so yeah we'll see I was using the Pacifica Crystal Dew Setting Spray, which I actually finished. This is just um, water and sea salt right now for something else. So I like to use the bottles that I think are pretty. And plus it's like recycling. So yeah. So anyway, that is it for this video. I'm sorry. It was kind of like a rambling all over the place video. Like I said, I suck when it comes to like just doing videos where I have to talk. So anyway, if you for some reason like this video, please feel free to give it a like. If you really, really like this video, please feel free to subscribe if you want to do neither one of those things. I get it. That's totally fine. Thank you for stopping by and watching this video and sharing this minute with me. I appreciate you so, so much. As always, I will list everything that I'm wearing on my face as well as my Twitter and Instagram handles in case you want to follow me there. I post pictures of eye looks that I do not film as well as pictures of my pets. And I think that they are the bomb, but did I really just say that? I did. What year is this? <laughs> I think they are amazing, but of course we are all biased when it comes to our fur babies. So anyway, from one makeup lover to another, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And remember, be you, do you, love you, bye. I apologize in advance. This was so crazy.